Hello and welcome back to the channel. We hope you've had a lovely Christmas and New Year. So we're now into January 2024. So we're just gonna do a little video today. So we're in our home county of Northumberland. We're gonna take you for a little walk. Just something a little bit different today because we're gonna do a little review of 2023 and what happened on the channel. And we're also gonna talk about things that might be coming in 2024. So we're just gonna take it on the walk with Will. We'll tell you a little bit about our walk as well. So we've got a couple of places to stop on the way. It's only about a five mile walk. But with it being 2024, we wanna get out, we wanna be a bit more active because we haven't really done anything since about October, since we went to Ibiza. We've just kind of lost all bit of motivation. So come along, join me for the walk. Let's have a chat, let's go. So the walk we're going to do is a five miler. It's from Harbottle, which is in the Northumberland National Park. We've got Tigger and we've got Jackie with for the day. There's a couple of places we're going to stop. We'll tell you a little bit about each place. Firstly, we'll talk about 2023. We'll just do like a little overview of where yeah. And then we'll talk about 2024, if we've got any plans, if we haven't. And then just maybe some ideas for channels and all this kind of stuff. So let's get cracking. So another reason I wanted to get out, we've got a new drone back in, I think it was October, because mine broke when we were in Turkey. So I wanted to try and test it out because we've never had a chance to give it a crack yet. Because the weather's been so bad and it's been so windy. And one other thing, if the sound's rubbish, it's because I broke in Ibiza. Another thing I broke, it was a two for one. I had a media mod for my GoPro and it fell out of the basket on my bike. The media mod stopped working and the microphone I had attached with it stopped working as well. So I haven't bought any new equipment for it yet, but uh, that'll probably be something I'll have to do in 2024. So the first place we're going is a place called Drake Stone. So it's not too far, I think it's only about half a mile, but it looks like it's all pretty much uphill. So I got this route off an app called Kamut. It's not sponsored by the way, but we've used this quite a few times just for searching for walks in your local area. So we're just heading up the Drake Stone now, and we'll tell you a little bit about the stone when we get up there. So obviously one of the reasons we've come out walking, try and get a bit of fitness back, lose a bit of weight, get out in the fresh air. And the reason we've come out today is that the weather was looking really good. And lo and behold, pissing down on the way. All the weather apps say 0% chance of rain, and it's been raining. Luckily it's okay now. It's starting to clear up, but it's still a bit overcast, but it's not too bad. Let's get up with this stone. So it's not really much of a path. It's more like where the rain's come down and made like a little ravine in the, in the soil, in the ground. So it's not the best and it's, it's a bit of a climb. But nice views. So Harbottle is just this village down here. And then further that way you've got Rothbury towards the coast. And then inland is like Alwinton, Otterburns over this way. So one of the capabilities on the new DJI Mini 4 drone, which is what we purchased back in October, is that it's got the function to follow. So the old DJI Mini that I had did not have this function at all. So it was a bit of a pain, you had to download a third party app, which wasn't always reliable. If we want to get those kind of dynamic shots where we're going through the forest or driving a car, you can get it to follow. But this is a lot more stable and a lot more reliable. So just done a few shots there, it avoids trees, it's got like obstacle avoidance, so sensors on the top, on the bottom, at the front, at the back. 
so it's really good it avoids all the trees if you're just walking through it follows you and avoids them automatically so that's really good and i've never had a chance to try it until now but i've just tried it and it's it's really good So this boulder behind is called Drake's Stone. So it's a huge boulder which allegedly had special healing powers. So it was originally called Dragonstone or Drakstone and is reputed to have been used by the Druids. So the massive sandstone boulder was placed here by a glacier in the Ice Age. Jesus. <laughs> so the next stop is Harbottle Lake. So there we'll we'll stop there and we'll talk about 2023. This is now Harbottle Lake. Apparently it's really deep here, so you've got to be careful. And there's quite a marshy area around here, so it's best to stick with the designated path around here. So anyway, let's stop somewhere and let's have a chat about 2023. So 2023 was probably what most adventurous year yet. I mean, the channel's only really been going for just over two years. Back in March last year, we went to Vietnam. We flew to Kuala Lumpur first, spent a few nights there. Then we went into Vietnam, where we traveled from south to north. So during that time, we flew to Ho Chi Minh City, then on to Da Lat. We then flew up to Da Nang and stayed in Hoi An for a few nights. Then we went to Da Nang, spent a couple of nights there, but we weren't that keen on Da Nang at all. And then we did the High Van Pass and crossed over to Hue and then into the north part, went to Ninh Bin, Hanoi, the Hajang Loop, which was probably the highlight of the year. Came back to Hanoi, went back to Ninh Bin and then Halong Bay. So this was an absolutely amazing trip. Something we've wanted to do for a long, long time. It's something that's been on my bucket list for at least 20 years. So there was a lot of things there we crossed off, a lot of things we wanted to see that we did probably didn't get to do everything we wanted to do but it was still great uh, highly recommend for anybody who wants to do a different kind of holiday it's so easy to get around the scenery is amazing the people are beautiful the food's beautiful get yourself to Vietnam so that took up the majority of the year on the channel but in September we flew to Dalaman in Turkey and spent 10 nights in Dalian that was the first time for both well I've been to Turkey before but Jackie had never been and Dalian itself was beautiful, really, really nice place. Lovely holiday destination. It's quite laid back. It's completely different to your Marmaris, your Olu Denise, your Hisarinu, all those kind of places. Totally different, totally different. So if you want a really, really relaxed kind of holiday, good food, friendly people, there's a nice beach. It's not ideally a beach resort, but there is a beach about 20 minutes away, which you can reach by Dolmos. So it's worth doing. It's a lovely, lovely place to go, and we would highly recommend it. Another thing we ticked off the bucket list was paragliding. The paragliding was absolutely brilliant. So we traveled around. We had a, a close shave with a traffic accident, which wasn't good. But yeah, great holiday, lovely time. Not as cheap as we thought it would be, but it was great, it was lovely. And then into October, we didn't plan to go anywhere in October, but Jackie for my birthday had booked some flights to Ibiza. So we went for five nights and stayed just outside of Ibiza town. So we're between Ibiza town and Playa Den Bossa. So we had the best of both, we had the town and we had the beach close by. With it being October, the weather was a bit iffy. We did catch the tail end of a storm. So this is something that will be happening in 2024. So this will be the first series that will come out in 2024. But we'll discuss 2024 after this. So yeah, Ibiza town was lovely. It was better than expected, really expensive. But October was a good time to go. It wasn't as busy with tourists. The food was expensive. The drink was quite expensive. But if you hunt around, you can get stuff cheap. The accommodation was okay. It was a bit loud. I mean, the, the 
walls are a bit thin, but the beach was lovely. You could have a lovely walk along the beach. Like I say, you've got best of both worlds. There's lovely restaurants down by the beach. At Figueretta's Beach, there's lovely restaurants just around the corner there, and then you can walk all the way up to Playa Den Bossa, which we did walk all the way up to the Hard Rock Hotel there. And then we went across to Formentera as well on the ferry, which was a bit of an adventure, which is where I, I brought my sound equipment. And then the, the boat coming back was a bit choppy. But uh, overall, it was a really good year. Things in terms of growth didn't quite happen as much as we expected. We're hoping the Vietnam series might have elevated the channel a bit more, but for whatever reason, it just hasn't happened. But we'll push on in 2024. We'll move on to our next checkpoint, and that's where we'll discuss 2024. So how was everybody's Christmas and New Year? Hope it was all good for you, spent time with loved ones, family, friends. Ours was quite busy. I had a bit of time off, only like the week, Christmas week. But Jackie kind of, she had to work between Christmas and New Year for two days. We just spent some time with my family Christmas day. My dad stayed with us Boxing Day. And then between Christmas and New Year, we had a lodge booked. So the days Jackie had off, we managed to stay in a lodge for two nights with Jackie's sister and brother-in-law, which was nice. It wasn't the best of lodges, mine. That was up at uh, Percy Woods. But yeah, it was quite busy. We only really got like one day. Well, kind of just sat and did nothing every day. We seemed to have something on. So we went back to work, <laughs> no better off. Plenty of drink, plenty of food. So now I just, having a bit of downtime in january and february the time away from the drink and there's other reasons as well which we'll explain when we come to talk about 2024 so it looks like the sun's finally coming out they say today <laughs> all the weather apps the weather forecast last night said zero percent chance of rain when we're driving up here, there was a big black cloud and it was just peeing down. Anyway, we're kind of heading back towards Harbottle now and cross a river and then there's the castle. So we'll get down to the castle and we'll give an update about 2024.
go just walk through Harbottle, which was the next waypoint. We thought we might stop for a quick drink in the pub here because there's a pub called the Star Inn, but it's closed. So it's been closed on the 5th of January, right the way through to the 26th. So we'll not be stopping there. Right, the last point of call is the castle. So we're gonna go there and we'll update you on 2024. So here we are, we're at the last point, which is Harbottle Castle. So Harbottle Castle was first occupied from around 1157, when Henry II ordered Ordinelle de Umfraville to build a strong castle at Harbottle. This is pretty much a simple Mott and Bailey enclosure and formed part of a chain of such sites built against the old enemy, which was Scotland. It was also the home to Margaret Tudor, the sister of Henry VIII between 1550 and 1524, and the home of the Lord Treasurer of Scotland, George Home, in 1605. However, by 1715, the castle was in ruins and continued to fall into decay. So that's the end of our walk. So I promised that we'll talk about plans for 2024. Jack is just away back to the car because she's desperate for the toilet and she's cold. She hasn't featured much in this one. So plans anyway, 2024. Very soon we'll be putting out a mini series of videos from our time in Ibiza. So there should be about four or five videos from there. So that should cover about a month of the year. After that, we don't have many plans. And the reason being Jackie needs to have an operation sometime before the end of March. We're not sure when, we're just kind of waiting on a date. So she's had a problem with her left eye since she was young and she's been blind in that eye ever since. So she needs to go through a, a procedure to remove the cornea from her eye. So she's going to be out of action for a little while. So we can't really plan anything at the moment because we're kind of waiting for a date for the operation. She's had a pre-op assessment done. So she's ready to go for the operation. It's, it's just waiting for that date. Other things we have planned. I mean, we've got a few little trips planned just in this country. We're going to see Peter Kay in Manchester, but I mean, we'll not be doing any videos on that. The other thing we do have planned is Glastonbury. So we're not sure if that would be something you would want to see us, our experience there. It's the first time we've ever been, so we're not quite sure what to expect, to be honest. So that's another thing that we could do. That's not to say that we won't be going anywhere this year, because we will be. Obviously, once Jackie's had her operation, we'll be able to start planning stuff. We don't really have anywhere in mind. We would like to go back to Thailand. We've been to Thailand before. We're not saying that that would happen this year. If it would, it would probably be later in the year. If not, we might look at that for next year. So we might go away for a little period of time, maybe. It will probably be longer than two weeks, I think we'd have to go. Because the, the two times we've been, it's a long way to go just for kind of a two week break. And there's a few things we'd like to see when we're there. So that's an idea. Other than that, we'll just probably see what comes up. I mean, usually we just do things off the cuff anyway. We don't specifically have any plans, unlike last year where we planned a Vietnam trip, but that had been years in the making. But we will kind of keep you updated on any plans that we we'll have in 2024. So we'll just see what happens. We'll see how long this operation takes, how long it's going to take for Jackie to recover from that as well. That's how things stand anyway. So we'd just like to thank you all for sticking by us in 2023. We did put a lot of videos out and a lot of you enjoyed them. The people that watched them, people who've stuck by were. I hope you stick by you in 2024. There will be some more adventures to come. We have thought about maybe starting another channel just about walks in Northumberland. I'm not sure if that would be something that would interest you. So we'd probably incorporate walking with some of the restaurants in Northumberland, just to give some reviews and keep things kind of ticking over. That might be something separate we'd think about doing, but we're not sure. It's just to kind of keep things going for a while, just to keep in front of the camera a bit as well. Cause once you don't do it for a while, you kind of get out of practice and your mind just doesn't work properly sometimes. Once you start filming and you start getting going, then it's okay. But never mind. we're gonna end this one here. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. It was just something a little bit different. We just wanted to kind of keep you updated on, on the situation and what was happening in 2024 and just talk about last year. You'd like to see us set up another channel doing just walks in Northumberland. If that's something that would interest you, then leave the comments, let me know. So never mind, if you've enjoyed this video, give it that thumbs up. Leave us any comments, let us know what you thought of 2023 and what you would like to see us do in 2024 as well. You can join us on social media as well. We've got a Facebook group, we've got Instagram, and we've just set up a TikTok account as well. So we're just putting some little clips and things on there. So yeah, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the little walk. I hope you've enjoyed coming around this lovely part of the world with me. And hope you all have a great 2024. And hopefully we'll see you soon for a new series. So see you later. Bye.